hi welcome to my channel if you are new here you are highly welcome what we do on this channel we react to different kind of videos news in africa to be precise if you love content like this before you leave this video please subscribe to this channel and for my returning subscribers you guys are awesome thanks for always coming back to watch my videos with that being said guys in this very video today i'm presenting this video to you and i will be here watching the video with you at the ending part of the video i will let you guys know what i think let's watch this video together thank you new week and we have news this uh, day marks the beginning of the final phase as i mentioned earlier on of uh, who will be the substantive president of the federal republic of nigeria Ah, I don't know. That's a big issue for all Nigerians. We're all concerned. We're all wondering what will be the decision of the Supreme Court. Uh, and I don't think we're going to get that decision today. Uh, from all I can see, obviously, uh, we would expect the cases to be presented. The appeal will be presented. So I guess in the coming days, we'll begin to see... Um, a final light at the end of that tunnel and we'll have a decision of the Supreme Court. Uh, my understanding of it is um, former Governor Peter Obi and presidential candidate of the Labour Party, he has presented 51 uh, grounds for appeal and one of them is the fact that he does not believe that um, it is right for INEC to not do what he promised to do. And there are so many other ones that he's mentioned out of that 51. You can go online and you'll find all the, all the grounds for appeal there. The same thing with um, uh, Atiku Abubakar. He's also presented his own. Uh, the case is in court, so that means we have very little to say on it. I can't dwell on the substance of the case. But what we can say again and again and again, until the Supreme Court makes the decision, the only thing we can say is we've got eyes on the Supreme Court, eyes on the judiciary, and we're praying uh, like all prayers to the court that they will do the right thing. And also you mentioned earlier, uh, or just a few seconds ago, that um, the Supreme Court justices, the numbers have reduced. Yes, the numbers is reduced to 10 now. And um, I think there's about three or four female uh, women in that uh, Supreme Court. So it will be right for the incumbent president, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, to very quickly find amongst the members of the judiciary people that are qualified that can go in and do a good job. Part of the reason we're having delays in cases and it's affecting what we call the rights of people is when we don't have enough people on the bench in the Supreme Court. That means only 10 people will be available and they cannot hear all cases. If we have up to 20, then it makes it a lot easier. So the president should act very swiftly and make sure that people are appointed, especially there need to be more women representation in the Supreme Court because there are so many cases that require that which is the nuances of a, a woman and understanding of a woman in cases that have, uh, you know, apply to uh, women issues. So we need to have that representation, but the number has to increase. So um, that's my position. All right, okay, thanks. Rufai. I mean, so there's a lot. I mean, we've constantly said this is now being pushed to the court. The court will make their decision. The Supreme Court starts today. Let's see how that pans out. Uh, after whatever judgment the Supreme Court gives, Nigerians will look at it again and will dominate public space. Nobody has the right, I can't repeat for the opt-in time, to take away the court of public opinion from Nigerians from talking. And uh, that's our right as enshrined in the Constitution, number one. Number two, also that's the role of the media. That's why the media has a constitutional role. And I have to say that for the opt-in time. But apart from that, I'd like to just align with what uh, uh, Kay did say here as regards you know, getting more judges on the Supreme Court. I think that's a process Nigerians now need to participate. We need to know these people. Once they are nominated to get on the court, these are the things we need to you know, put our eyes in the process. Because a Supreme Court judge takes a decision that would affect generations to come. And they weigh over decisions that affect generations to come. 
and it's only right for the people to be able to have an impute in their process via the court of public opinion, not necessarily swaying anything, but via the court of public opinion, checking antecedents and having robust engagements with the process when that process finally comes. And I hope that Nigerians will open their eyes and when the nominations are made, because definitely we definitely need to fill the court, when the nominations are made, Nigerians will be able to scrutinize the process effectively and ensure that they have their voices heard in that process because it is paramount and the decisions of the judiciary go a long way in the lives of Nigerians. Just like whatever decision the Supreme Court is going to take, it's definitely going to go a long way in the life of Nigerians. So we'll see how the process pans out and when we're finally done with the process, we'll come here, we'll reconvene and we'll also, you know, boisterously analyze. Absolutely, yes. Um, all eyes, obviously, on the judiciary and uh, well, so as it's in court, we, there are limits to which we can uh, talk about the case just to present the facts of the case. As I already mentioned, uh, the grounds of appeal from the Labour Party, a light people's movement, we, we mustn't forget. And of course, uh, Mr. Uh, Waziri Atiku Abubakar, who um, held a press conference over the weekend. Now, in terms of the uh, number of justices in the Supreme Court, Constitutionally, there's a provision to have 21. 21 in terms of the numbers of justices on the, you know, at, at the Supreme Court. So unfortunately, currently we're now down to 10. Last week, I talked about the fact that during Justice Amna Oge's uh, valedictory service, she had actually advocated for more appointments to the Supreme Court, talking about how uh, labored the um, current justices are because they are limited in numbers and the cases are overwhelming. Of course, you can only imagine what the impact on the process of justice will be and also um, obviously um, hope, hopefully not impacting on the quality because they're just literally overwhelmed. And um, the duty of, of, of recruitment of justices is lies in the purview of the National Judiciary Council, NJC. Now, the spokesperson, Mr. Festus Akonde, had actually said that they were in the process of uh, the, the nominations will come in, the process of recruitment, and so they'd reach an advanced stage in terms of that. At, currently, they would need to fill in 11 spaces, and as has been mentioned, hopefully that will be balanced. But most importantly um, is the quality of and uh, you know and the antecedents of the individuals who will then go on to be appointed as justices of the Supreme Court. I think this is very important, and perhaps it's also a great time to advocate for the independence of the NJC of the judiciary of of the judiciary in Nigeria. This is something that has been talked about a number of times. Um, the, in the legal profession, lawyers have spoken about this the independence of the judiciary, ensuring that they have full autonomy as they ought to, so that they are not you know there's no external influence, especially with regards to the executive um, in, in this regard. So this is definitely um, you know, one area that we must continue to talk about until there are changes made in this area. We have talked about it endlessly on the welfare of judges. I believe the Supreme Court justices have a, you know, definitely better treatment than perhaps their um, um, justices in other lower courts. But it is important to highlight that. Again, also an opportunity to say that Nigerians are expectant especially with regards to the outcome of the ruling of the Supreme Court's hearing of the Article OB and APM appeals. Don't forget one of the things they'd be considering, or perhaps one of the things that people will be looking forward to knowing is if the Supreme Court will admit fresh evidence due to extenuating circumstances, as in the case of um, the, um, the deposition and the findings from Chicago State University, certificate forgery and the likes. We'll find that out um, very shortly. Welcome back, guys. I hope you find the video interesting, informative. Please, before leaving, subscribe. I want to say something here. I don't know what is happening in Africa, in Nigeria to be precise, especially down to the southeastern part of Nigeria. A lot is happening that people, bloggers, presenters, newscasters they are not bringing to the general public we need to air more of this news from the southeastern part of nigeria because a lot is going on guys let me know what you think i'll see you in my next update have a wonderful day bye